Dust in the wind. Do you see my face right now, guys? Chad literally just begged me to sing that. Clearly you can see that I don't make YouTube videos where I am singing because I am not a songstress, but I can tell you about dust because it's something that we all deal with. And no matter how diligent we are about cleaning, dust comes back. In fact, the average American six room home brings in 40 pounds of dust a year. And it's full of all kinds of stuff that you don't care about and I don't care about. All you need to know is that it's coming in and you gotta stay on top of it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some strategies that you can use to stay on top of dust and also to help reduce how much dust is actually coming in your home. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you never wanna hear me sing in a video again. Your shoes are responsible for about 80% of the dirt and dust that comes into your home. So logically, it makes sense to have mats at every entrance, whether it's your back door, your garage, your mudroom, or your front door. Make sure that you have a cute mat out there that can catch all that dirt and prevent it from coming in your home. Make sure that your guests or you wipe your feet before you step in. And then you can even have a mat inside the front hallway so that your shoes can stay there and that will trap even more dirt. And finally, make sure that you have a shoes off policy because when shoes are being worn inside the house, they are tracking dust and dirt around. And that means more cleaning for you later on. I love fresh air as much as the next guy, trust me, but having your windows open all the time can actually bring a lot of dust and dirt into your home. So just be mindful about how much you're leaving your windows open. And if it's a particularly windy day, make sure that you're closing them. You can also think about leaving your windows on your upper floors open and your lower floors closed. That way, some of the low lying dirt won't be able to blow in. But in general, open windows do mean more dust comes into your home. Area rugs, cushions, and pillows absorb a lot of dust and dander and debris. And even when you vacuum them or launder them, sometimes not everything gets out. They're quite trappy that way. They really trap a lot of that stuff in. So what you can do a few times a year is give them a really good whack. So take them outside, get yourself a tennis racket or some other whacking device, an old wooden broom, hockey stick, I don't know, get creative. Make sure your neighbors aren't watching because they're gonna think you're a little crazy. And then just give it a really good beating. You know, get out your anger, think about those people who screwed you, how much tax dollars you're paying, just take it all out on that stuff. What you'll see are these disgusting puffs come out of these items and it's just dust that you're releasing. So your anger can actually be used in a really constructive way. So vacuuming is great, do that as often as you need to or launder your items as often as you need to, but three to four times a year, get rid of the dust by giving those items a good beating. Your air filters should be changed a couple of times a year, ideally four times a year, once with the change of every season. But if you haven't done it in a while, go get yourself a new air filter and change it. Your air filter, it's kind of like a hairbrush. You know, you use it a few times, it really works. But once it gets clogged up with hair, it really can't brush your hair effectively. And it puts a lot of crap back into your hair that you don't want there. So if your air filter hasn't been cleaned in a while, it's not going to be removing all of those particles that you're trying to not breathe in. And it might actually affect the quality of your air or your air flow. As well, your vents around the house. You can remove the vent covers, give those a quick vacuum or dust and replace them. This will affect the quality of your air and your airflow as well. Ditch the fancy feather dusters and go for microfiber. If you put a feather and a microfiber cloth under a microscope, you would see that a feather has like thick, thick, thick strands and microfiber cloths have these teeny tiny strands that are cut into a little pie and all they do is trap dust and dirt all day. So when you're dusting with a feather duster, you're literally just pushing dust everywhere and it's just gonna land on the same darn surface that you were trying to clean. Whereas if you're using a microfiber cloth, those little pizza slices are gonna trap your dust 
and make sure that it does not return. So a lot of you guys know that I have my own line of microfiber cloths, Maker's Cleaning Cloths, and I don't talk about microfiber because I have nothing better to do. Guys, when I started my cleaning company 11 years ago, I was using that feather duster and it did nothing for me. So when I got into microfiber and realized how amazing it was for cleaning, particularly for removing dust, I was sold. This week's comment question is, what's your take on the shoes off policy? Do you wear shoes in your home and not really care about taking your shoes off? Like it doesn't affect you? Or are you adamant that shoes come off the second you walk in your home? Let me know in the comments down below. Here at the CMS HQ, we take our shoes off and if we do wanna wear shoes in the house, we have indoor shoes or slippers. Now, occasionally someone will wear shoes in the house and I've actually had to give them the old raised eyebrow, awkward face and ask them to take their shoes off. They get it, it's me and all is good. But I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you wanna learn more about my maker's cleaning class, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.